Hello everyone and welcome to this week's weekly psychic forecast from Angel Wings Holistics. It is week commencing the 5th of December. We are charging towards the end of the year. It's getting exciting. We've got the overview of this week laid out in front of us. You'll notice there's a few extra cards, <laughs> certainly more than usual. I normally only have three. We have five today because there's a lot of energy starting to ramp up. Then we will go day by day looking at the days of the week, finishing off with a spiritual guidance message at the end. So do stay tuned for that. So let's dive on in. So it's a very interesting energy here looking at this week. It feels as though we're leaving some things behind that we don't need anymore. Um, perhaps leaving disappointment behind, I want to say, and actually starting to see um, the results. So I, I love the bee spirit. Sweet results await. It's beautiful. Comes on a very mystic seven as well. It's kind of like this little steampunk bee. <laughs> um, but it does very much feel like the the um, the rewards are in sight now. We can see what we've been working for. We can finally see it. It's starting to show itself. Whereas previously we may have been feeling like um, the universe had let us down or maybe we'd gone in the wrong direction. We just couldn't see the outcome. We couldn't see that things were going to work. And it is, we are reaching that point now where we will be able to see that the good is coming towards us finally. So if you've been working on a project, um, particularly if it's been something that you've been doing on the longer term, or it could be a relationship that you've been working on, it looks like the good things are coming. It looks like your hard work will pay off and you'll be able to see it very very soon you'll start to get an inkling of it this week even if the rewards don't appear immediately you'll be able to see that they're coming and that's a very very exciting energy particularly in business but it is a week also about letting go what do we need to let go of to allow this new good to come into us what do we need to let go of what relationships do we need to get 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 go of let go of <laughs> who needs to go who needs to stay um what needs to go what needs to stay what's pulling us off course what's pulling us in the wrong direction so we can't get through the doorway towards our dream now what's holding us back literally there could be family members holding you back you could be um experiencing mental health issues that are holding you back at the moment you must work on that you you need help and support with you know um could be many different things obviously because we are looking at the energy for everybody for this week but it's an exciting energy i can feel the anticipation building like yes I thought this was a good idea I've been hanging on in there hoping that it was and now I can actually see that it's going to work very very exciting energy overall um, and with 41 the nightingale spirit it brings in so much love regardless of the decisions that we have to make if they're difficult ones if there are things that we have to leave behind it may be a bit of a bittersweet week I want to say if there are people or places or things or jobs or um, stuff we need to let go of it may be decluttering that you need to do this week energetically to get you ready for this next stage for this next sacred stage of your life I want to say but it is coming in very very positive energy very hopeful energy as well you'll really start to see the glimmers of hope and I think we could see that on the international and national level in certain places as well we might to see the uh, start to see the changes coming in the positive changes that are good for hu humankind not um not just the manipulative ones that the controllers want to put in place, you know, oh, well, we're going to put this law in place because it's good for you. And we're all sat there going, actually, I'm not so sure that it is. Um, or we might know perfectly well that it's not and it only benefits the few or the rich, the very rich. Um, yeah, so very interesting week. Um, I'm very drawn to 41.5 as well. So there's strong five energy, which means it is an adventurous energy, but also we can be very practical and pragmatic this week and that will very much take us forwards. So let's take a look at the days of the week, starting with Monday, because that's where the week starts. All right, Monday's cards. We have... I'll put them the long way around. We have the Page of Earth. So it could be a bit topsy-turvy this week's energy, just because I've put my cards the wrong way around. <laughs> so that's interesting. We have number 67, the Wolf Spirit, turn wisdom, uh, turn knowledge into wisdom. That makes sense. And we have a number five card, consciousness, a consciousness of lack. Okay. So. Hmm. Yeah, it does feel very much on Monday that it is about implementing what we have learned. Um, this is about learning, about study, um, you know, about improving yourself, about learning more things. It can be about book learning. It can be about street smarts. Um, but it is about applying that knowledge, applying that wisdom today. Um, and there is a, a comment here that, that we may be struggling with some lower self-esteem on Monday as well. There may be some self-worth issues coming up. I'm very drawn to bring this heart in. Let's just pop that there. OK. Um, 
yeah it, it does feel very much like we may be struggling maybe we don't believe that we can do what we're sensing we should be able to maybe we're thinking we can't ha handle the money or we won't be able to enough money maybe we think there isn't enough love to go around that we won't be loved how we need to be or there won't be anyone to take care of us or, or to love us or um yeah there, there's certainly the, this feeling of lack but it's coming from the solar plexus chakra which is why i brought this one in this crystal in um so you may want to focus on bringing some yellow food, some yellow colours, yellow crystals, yellow clothing into your life on Monday, just to give you that little bit of a boost, just to keep you going. Because it looks like you know everything that you need to know. You've already done the work. It feels like you've already done the work. You've already learned the lessons. You know what you need to do. Um, you know what needs to be done here. And it does feel very much like get on with it <laughs> it's kind of um if i should be crude i'd say it's kind of piss or get off the pot but in the nicest possible way i don't mean that in a harsh way i do mean that as in come on you know how to do this get on with it it's okay you don't have to wait um you don't have to look to somebody else or wait for a sign wait for the signs from the universe just get on with it you know you've got this it is the moment to move forwards and you know how to do this and this could be in work uh could well be in work or it could be anything to do with your lifestyle relationships what what have you etc um or it could be to do with investments for some people as well I feel. On Monday we are asked to trust ourselves, to trust our abilities, our knowledge, um, our wisdom, what we have learned in this lifetime and what we brought through from previous lifetimes as well. It does feel like we are underestimating ourselves somewhat on Monday. So let's bring in some spirit oracle cards here, see what they've got to say, if there's anything they want to add, which I'm sure there will be, <laughs> what have they got to say. Okay, what else do we need to know? Kundalini rising, oh my goodness, that's big energy. Taking full responsibility for your life brings freedom, yeah. And the more peace you have, the more transformation is possible on 5510.1. Wow, that is some powerful transformational energy coming in on Monday. Um, Kundalini rising, I mean, that, that is about ascension, it is about enlightenment, so you may actually be having some interesting spiritual experiences on Monday. But taking full responsibility that's about self-sovereignty and this is um exactly the theme i was talking about you know what you're doing get on with it take responsibility for your life you're not waiting for somebody else to give you permission to tell you it's okay to give you the nod to tell you you're, you're doing it right or wrong no this is all down to you now and it's important that you are the person making your decision so that you have the maximum freedom that is possible for you in this lifetime um and very often we do find particularly if we're we hang around in like um new age kind of spiritual circles very often we can get a little bit entangled in our thoughts as to you know what we're supposed to be doing or perhaps we listen to other people's unsolicited advice about what the right thing is for our path i just want to say don't listen to anyone but yourself on monday okay you will know what is right you will know the people that you need beside you to move forwards towards your dreams towards more freedom towards more sovereignty towards more peace and there was a huge spiritual transformation coming in on monday so it could be literally some spiritual awakenings happening for some people but for for some of us and, and possibly on the world stage as well it's going to be very very big this energy is huge so hold on to your hats so let's move on to tuesday now and as i went to put away my little yellow oracle cards um they actually went in upside down so there's that topsy-turvy energy coming in again this week that i think we need to pay attention to so some things may seem up when they're down hot when they're cold right when they're wrong it's it's very interesting turbulent energy so tuesday we have the eight of air we have 68 the wombat spirit be at home and we have a number one card which is energy and it's courage okay hmm so it feels like on tuesday we're very much being asked to step outside of the box think outside of the box and feel at home outside of the box i want to say <laughs> um, get used to being uncomfortable and this is completely normal when it comes to any sort of change progress and um, particularly spiritual growth you will feel very uncomfortable and i think it's important to get used to feeling uncomfortable um we could feel trapped as though we can't break out of the box and we are stuck in old systems but that that question is being asked of us on tuesday do you want to stay living like this or do you want something else something better something that suits you more something that is more appropriate for you for your path uh for your energy so it's going to be a very very interesting day i think um it comes with reticence does require courage obviously when we're afraid you do have 
have to be brave to move forwards. And courage isn't the absence of fear, of course. It's doing the thing that you need to do or that is the right thing to do, despite the fact that you're afraid. So it's OK if, if you're feeling uncertain on Tuesday. Um, make yourself at home in uncertainty, I want to say. <laughs> Get used to it um, in the nicest, most loving possible way. Um, it is OK. We are trailblazers of a new era, of a new age. We are moving into a completely new energy that is very foreign to us, very alien to us. The people who came before us don't know how to exist in this energy, don't know how to work with it. And it is up to us to learn how to do that. So learn to rest, not to quit. Yes, that makes sense. Are you aiming too low? I think you might be. And slow down to speed up. Yes. OK. So it looks like there's some support coming in here from the spirit realms just to help us to deal with the challenges that Tuesday presents to us. So it is very much um, we may need to take breaks. OK, we may may need to do things piecemeal on our spiritual path, on our life's path as we're moving towards new starts, to better things, to the things that we actually want and need to achieve. Um, there is this reminder, don't aim too low. OK, aim as high as you want to aim for what you want. It's not a case of aiming high for the sake of aiming high, like we might have been taught at school or by the kind of push, drive, strive energy of the age of Pisces, which is all, oh, the person who wins is the one who dies with the most toys, because we know that's not true. Um, but at the same time, don't diminish yourself too much. Don't aim too low. Don't play small. I want to say don't play small on Tuesday. Be who you truly are. Stand in your suit of armour, in your bravery and show the world who you are. But there is also um, there is also a little caution here that you may need to take a break. OK, so just because you need to rest doesn't mean you should aim lower. OK, very easy to make that mistake. You think, oh, clearly this is too much for me, so maybe I shouldn't be trying to do that. Maybe you just need a little bit of a break. Maybe you need to rest a holiday. And as this card suggests, slow down to speed up. And with the arrow on this card, we know for an arrow to move forwards, what happens? We have to pull it backwards first. So there may be a little bit of backwards movement before you can actually move forwards. You may have to take a step back from something or slow down um, or it might not be quite the right timing. Timing is absolutely key and crucial here. Um, but you can still go in the direction you want to go in in your life. It doesn't mean you have to stop. It doesn't mean you have to throw in the towel just because you, you don't get there first time and it's not a linear trajectory. You know, success rarely is. And that is something you know, that we have learned from the age of Pisces. But there is this whole new opportunity coming in. And I just want to look at the numerology of 68. So uh, 68, 14, 5. So again, it's five. It's five energy coming in. So the mind may be running amok today, I feel. Um, we may be struggling a little bit with difficult thought patterns, you know, underestimating ourselves, thinking badly of ourselves, you know, beating ourselves up with our inner monologue, which is a terrible thing to do. But most of us do it. So try not to. Try not to. Um, I want to say take care of number one today as well on Tuesday. Take a rest, you know, have some time for yourself. Try and get some me time, whatever it is, even if it's just, you know, locking the bathroom door and, and lying in the bath for half an hour where no one can get at you and, you know, the, the kids can't get in and bother you for something, you know, um, or, or the cat can't get in in my case. But yeah, th there's a very hopeful energy despite um, the fear. And I think that the two kind of go hand in hand. There's a real hope for the future, but there's also a fear of, can I do this? And I want to say, yes, you can. You absolutely can. There is no need to hide your light under a bushel. There is no light, no need to pretend you're less than you actually are. There is no need to adjust your goals because they seem a little bit big or overwhelming at the moment. Just take your time. If that's what you want, that's what you should go for. So let's take a look at Wednesday. All right. So Wednesday's cards, we have the Knight of Air. Oh, the dog spirit, be loyal to what you love, coming in on 1910-1. And professional assistants, ah, oh, interesting. And I just want to bring in the card that was on the bottom of my Oracle deck, which is it's OK to play and explore. You don't have to know everything on number two, which brings in the possibility for balance, but also for exploration of different options. So it does feel like Wednesday's energy comes in with some options, which is interesting. Um, interesting, this card actually says time to carefully review your options. <laughs> OK, that's good. Um, yeah, it is definitely a day where you will have some choices to make or some choices that you're currently considering thinking about may actually come up to be reviewed today. Um, 
And it's interesting, you may actually need some advice, you may need some help from a professional, from a lawyer, from a doctor, from, um, I don't know, a scientist, from, from whatever. Um, but do seek that advice, do get that support, even if it's a colleague who knows something that you don't, you know, do get that support. Because like the card says, you don't have to know everything. It is absolutely okay to enlist help, to enlist support. And that's what dogs are. It's like your dog pack is here to be loyal. They're here because they love you and they want to help you. I feel there are people around you who really want to help and support you um, through this day because there are some difficult decisions to make which will have long-term ramifications. And it is a very, very interesting one. It feels like we are very much looking at real world stuff here as well. Um, I'm just very drawn to the red um, gem between the eyes of the dog. So it seems to be sitting on the third eye, but it's like the third eye is looking at the the root chakra, which is the red chakra. So we are intuitively looking at very, very real life themes here, very um, mundane themes. Um, and there may be a sense of, I have to hurry, I have to hurry up and make this decision. But I want to just slow that down a little bit here and say, actually, I don't feel like you do. I don't feel like there is so much of a rush as you may be led to believe at this point in time. Um, speak to the wise ones, the ones who actually know that, oh, goodness we've got kundalini rising coming out again for the second time this week and everybody is teaching you something about yourself yes wonderful and the people who you know who can advise you then maybe they are advising you about yourself maybe it's a counselor a teacher a, a religious teacher maybe um you know a guide somebody who's helping you a spirit guide perhaps stepping in to bring in additional wisdom additional help here because you don't have to do it all by yourself you are not alone. That's what I want you to remember today. You are absolutely not alone. So again, Wednesday bringing in the turbulent energy of Kundalini rising. So there are spiritual awakenings happening at this time. They could be happening around you, which could be absolutely fascinating. Or it might be that you're seeking out a spiritual teacher because you are having some interesting experiences at the moment and you're just looking for a little bit of guidance, perhaps with your psychic ability, um, you know, with, with your spiritual abilities there or with things that you're seeing, uh, maybe spirit are communicating with you and you just want some help with that, you know, some help on how to, con oh, how to control that, um, how to be in control so they're not waking you up in the middle of the night because that is a thing that happens to some people for sure and it's very unhelpful what brings you happiness and joy ah and cat energy yeah so what does bring you happiness and joy? And that could be very unique to you with the cat energy coming in here. It is about boundaries, about being your true self. Cats are very good at being their true selves. They know exactly what they want and they don't compromise for anyone. They will keep asking for what they want, like a two-year-old. <laughs> yeah. um, so there is a sense of you don't have to compromise here as well. So it, it's a little bit off the wall is the word I get. It's like out of the box thinking again coming in here. Um, what is it that you want from life? Yes, there are some decisions to make, but... I want you to make them from a place of happiness, from joy, what you actually genuinely want, um, because it will make make you happy, make you feel fulfilled, make you feel truly yourself. That is where we're moving right now. And with the cat energy, it is about strong boundaries, about truly being yourself, being independent as well, and not caring what other people think. Other people's opinions are none of your business. Other people's opinions are just that, opinions. They don't mean a damn thing, okay? But equally, you don't have to know everything. Um, and there is this terrible pressure that gets put on us in society when we think, oh, I'm going to make this decision, then I'm going to do that. And then someone steps in in a position of perceived authority, like a teacher or a parent, and says, oh, yes, but then what? Then what are you going to do? What happens if you don't like that? And the answer is, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. We don't have to know everything in advance. OK, how could we possibly know everything in advance? We have far too many decisions and choices ahead of us. We can look at the energy ahead of us and we can think about what we would like to do, what we believe will bring us joy, what lights us on fire, what makes us feel passionate. And we have to dive into it not knowing the outcome. And that's absolutely OK. In fact, that's the only way. If we already know the outcome, then why are we bothering to do it? That's my question. Sometimes that's it's not always the right thing to do. It can feel very safe, but it can also be incredibly boring. And it can lack joy, can lack growth. Um, and if we try and play it super safe, the universe sometimes comes in, kicks us up the backside and knocks all our toys over. <laughs> so just bear that one in mind today. Let's move on, shall we? Going very fast this week. This week's energy is quite fast. Uh, we are going to move on to Thursday. Let's bring these cards. They don't want to be picked up. Okay. They're misbehaving themselves because they want to be independent, just like cats. <laughs> okay, so Thursday, let's bring in Thursday's cards. Let me pop these down for a second. 
we have the sun. Wow, 19, Archangel Uriel. We have three, the Armadillo Spirit health, set healthy boundaries. So it seems like the theme of boundaries is continuing into Thursday. And then we have victim mentality. Okay. So it feels like the energy for Thursday is you can have it, but not everyone's going to agree with you. It may be about standing out in the crowd. It may be about literally stepping away from the group, stepping away from the majority and saying, this isn't me. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I need to do things my way. I need to go over there with those people. I can't stay here. It feels very much about stepping away from the herd, stepping away from herd mentality, stepping away from victim victimhood. Um, and the majority of people as a group, as a whole, um, you know, particularly nations as a whole tend to exist in victimhood. They exist in victim mentality. And that's how governments are able to rule over them because they feel powerless. They believe that somebody else has to make the rules and has to tell them off and decide when they've been naughty and take their toys away. You know, it's it's a very childish energy as a whole that most nations are, are kind of set up on. And today's energy is very much about stepping away from all of that. Um, it's nobody is your master. Yes, you must set boundaries. Um, and it's OK for you to be in charge of your life. It's OK for you to be your own son, your own guiding star, I want to say here as well. Um, there is some fear coming in. There are some very difficult, deep, deep emotions coming up here as well I feel so it may not be the easiest of days but it is an important one I think because it brings this opportunity for change on 1910 one um, and a new blueprint a completely new plan on three but it comes in as well I want to say with a little bit of fear masking as arrogance so with the number seven there I want to say fear masking as arrogance very often we can say oh I'm not doing that I know better that's stupid when actually we'd be absolutely shit scared to do that <laughs> that's the truth um so I want to say um bring in a dose of reality for yourself here what is your reality and that may be very different to what other people's reality is and it doesn't have to be the realistic reality either <laughs> what's considered realistic because realism is just a school of philosophy it's no more right than the next school okay um and I find it a shame now when we say let's be realistic well maybe I don't want to adhere to that school of philosophy <laughs> I don't want to be realistic I don't want to be cynical <laughs> So let's try a new way of thinking. Let's find a new philosophy. Let's find a new way of perceiving the world so that we don't feel that it's all out to get us and everything's difficult and hard and frightening. And, you know, um, we need to get away from that fearful energy that we were pushed into centuries ago now. So let's see what else we've got. We have gratitude isn't about being small. It's about opening your arms wide. Yes. Coming in on 17 star energy. So, yes, absolutely. Um and the road is long. Yes, it is. <laughs> 29, 11, 2. Very wise numbers coming in here. Spirit is on the line outs of the call. Yes, very much a spiritually guided day today on Thursday, I want to say. Um, very spiritually guided, very powerful day. And it could bring up some old issues. It could bring up some old things to look at. So, you know, you might want to have your, your counsellor on speed dial today <laughs> um, or a good friend to talk to because it, it's going to bring up some some old old issues i think but spirit your spirit guides are very much trying to lead you forward they're trying to lead you towards your best life today because there's something very big here very positive very successful you know you might be receiving an award you might be um being compensated for something that you've done really well or, or just achieving something it could be receiving a certificate for something you know or, or some money for a job well done um and there is this real sense that yes you can do this you've got this and it comes in with a huge amount of confidence and then it's almost like the flip side of that is oh my goodness am i really up to this and yes you are yes you are and yes you do deserve it as well again it's that deserving theme coming up to um which i think is going to affect the whole week which is the solar plexus chakra it's that deserving am i deserving of this do i deserve all of these wonderful things i i know i've worked for them and everything but there's part of me that doesn't believe i deserve them so that may be something to work on just want to bring in some money oracle cards here as well i'm just drawn to to bring these in too so so what's going on financially today because there's something influencing self-esteem to do with with money it could be to do with the financial markets actually today um give to receive not to get interesting 
fool's gold. <laughs> there could well be something going on with the financial markets today. Interesting, it comes on a three, and we've got three with the armadillo spirit over here. So it's all about the blueprint at the moment. Blueprint could be something to do with money printing. Um, yeah, it could be something to do with money printing, I want to say. Maybe to do with quantitative easing or um, even forgeries. <laughs> There's something to do with printing money here or, or maybe banks withdrawing notes and saying you can't have those anymore. That There's something going on there, I think. And I, I feel there's something going on in the stock market today as well, which may be making people feel quite anxious, quite nervous about the future. Um, yeah, but give to receive, not to get. And there is a reminder here. Again, we've got 41. I said that was an important number this week, didn't I? 41.5 showing up again. Um, I want to say, um, and this this ties in with the gratitude card. This is about giving, um, giving because it's the right thing to do. Gratitude and knowing that you will receive. OK, so it is about trusting the universe, trusting that you will receive the good that you deserve. You don't have to give to get. All right. And some people literally do that. I've met very manipulative people who call themselves spiritual, who literally give to get because they're trying to leverage the law of attraction in an extremely cynical manner, um, which is horrible. And it never really gets them very far. But some people do it. So there is no need. OK, come from the higher mind. There is no need to do that. Be aware. Know that the good is coming to you. Know that you deserve all of the things that you want, all of the things that you want to achieve. I actually have this little post-it note that I put on my desk just to, to help remind me of this. I deserve everything I want. <laughs> OK, because I wasn't brought up thinking that at all. And a lot of us weren't. Many of us weren't. Probably the majority. Um, so I have to remind myself of that on a daily basis. Yes, I do deserve this. I deserve the good things in life. And that's what I want to remind you of as well, because this lifetime is a long one. So take a deep breath. It's OK. This is just a tiny, minor little step on it in the grander scheme of things. Yes, somebody may be giving you something, but in the grander scheme of things, it's not that big. It's not that important. It's really quite small, quite unimportant in many ways. So know that there are more things to come as well. It's, it's not a trick. It's not like you can have one good thing in your life and then that's it. You don't deserve anything else. That's not how it goes. Certainly not in the energy of the age of Aquarius that we're moving into. That That's not the case at all. You can build on that energy now. I feel like you can build on that energy. Some people are going to be making very big losses today, but that's because they're coming from the old energy of the age of Pisces. OK. And even if that's you, I want to say it'll be OK it will be okay. The universe keeps a perfect set of books. You will be okay as long as you stay in that attitude of gratitude, you stay in that place of knowing that you will be taken care of because your guides are really, really trying to guide you, trying to lead you here. So listen when they communicate. So let's move on to Friday's energy now. Let's put those over there. Pop our little spirit oracle cards over here. Bring out Friday's cards. Friday, we have the Nine of Fire. We have number 18, the Deer Spirit. And we have number eight, a Creative Endeavour. I like these kind of peachy, orangey colours coming through here. These seem very, very relevant today. And these two eights as well. I've got 18 and we've got eight. Uh, 18, nine. Ha <laughs> ha. It is interesting, numerology. All of these cards are quite strongly connected to each other. So I do want to talk about it's an interesting energy for Friday because on the surface level, it feels very much like a kind of a, a very general message of, um, yes, you can do this kind of yes, you can energy. But I want to go a lot deeper than that because that's only the surface level of what's happening here. Um, I'm getting the energy of the muse. It's like the energy of... Um, the inspiration coming through, the divine inspiration, the creative inspiration from spirit coming through here very, very strongly. Because we've got this very creative card here. We've got the very gentle and wise dear spirit. But coming in on 189, we've got two nines, which is the hermit energy, which is incredibly wise, which is the light that leads us forwards. It is the wise old man. And it is the last step before the big change, before the next cycle begins. So it feels like in some ways we are ending a cycle here. And number nine, yes, can bring fear. It can bring the, the worry about, oh, no, what's going to happen next? Will I be able to do it? I had a handle on this and now I'm presented with the next step and I'm not sure if I can do it, not sure if I can achieve that. And you absolutely can, I want to say. But it may be about finding creative solutions today 
on Friday. I want to literally say, find some creative solutions. Very gentle softness in the energy today. Um, it feels like the, the universe is kind of cradling us like a newborn baby. <laughs> or a baby about to be born here, about to, to go through. Oh my goodness, what is about to happen? <laughs> So there is kind of that very newborn energy coming through here. Very gentle, very beautiful as well. Um, but it comes in with wisdom. And I want to say it comes in with some leaving some things behind. I wanted to say death, but obviously I don't literally mean death. But I'm very drawn to these black feathers here in the little headdress of, of our fawn or our, our deer here. Um, it does feel very much like some things need to be left behind so that the new can flourish. Um, and that is normal, you know, that is a normal part of life. But again, it's about endings and beginnings coming in on Friday. So let's put some more cards in here, see what we've got here. Um, yeah, I want to say just because things are changing doesn't mean that you... It, it doesn't mean that it's the end of your project. It just means it's moving into a new era, moving into a new phase. It could be a, a friendship turning into a relationship. Don't worry, you haven't lost the friendship, you've just you know, grown something new as well. Um, let's see, body, soul, alignment, 57. Cat energy coming in again. Okay, second time we've seen cat energy this week. I do enjoy a bit of cat energy myself. It's very independent, <laughs> it has good boundaries. Cats know what they want. But also cats have very soft fur, very soft fur. They seem like very soft, very sleek animals. Everything about them is very beautiful, very aesthetic, most of them. Um, <laughs> particularly mine he's gorgeous you know and his fur is super soft you know um so there is kind of that soft sleek feel today and speaking of cats i need to go let bedford in because he's beating the door down one second the boy is inside eating his dinner we'll see if he makes an appearance okay so with the cat energy i just want to say kitty's got claws all right yes it's very soft energy it's very sleek and maybe aesthetically pleasing but Cats have 20 reasons you don't want to mess with them at the end of their paws, <laughs> okay? not to mention their teeth, you know. Um, but yes, I want to say you are quite capable of taking care of yourself, even if you feel like the newborn fawn, you know, if you feel um, a little bit vulnerable today. And cats are incredibly vulnerable because they're very small animals, but they know how to defend themselves. And I'm, I want to say you do as well. You do know how to defend yourself. You do know how to hold your boundaries, how to stand up for yourself, how to stand up to bullies. Um, there is an incredibly strong part of you stepping forwards today as well. And we have body soul alignment on 57. So what's that? 57, 12, 3. So it brings in, that brings in incredible balance. Balance between the mind and I want to say the, the spiritual aspect of self. So which makes perfect sense actually for the words on the card. I write these intuitively. I don't think about it when the numbers are coming through. It just kind of happens. Um, yeah. So again, that there's a very strong intuitive feel as well today. It feels like I get the words nature taking its course and you know what you're doing and there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to worry about, even if you're feeling a little bit vulnerable. It feels like um, you have everything that you need everything that you need to take care of yourself. Achievements come in all shapes and sizes, don't they just, on 53.8. So there is some encouragement here to keep going, even if it's just a new project, something that you're starting anew, a new relationship. It's only just begun. You might still be feeling a little bit concerned about what it's going to look like, how things will go. Um, yeah, achievements come in all shapes and sizes so that there is nothing to worry about. You know, even if the achievements seem small, the steps seem small at first, there is nothing to worry about. And there is quite an anxious energy this week because I've been feeling the anxiety the whole way through, which is why I'm talking so damn fast at the moment, tripping over my words, which can happen, um, which can definitely happen when I'm working with this energy. And I just want to go to the bottom of the deck. We have cosmic alignment on 43.7. So I think there's something going on in the sky at this point in time on Friday or at least this week there's something very interesting going on astrologically so it'll be worth having a look at that as you guys know I'm not an astrologer um, I make no claims about that <laughs> so let's move on to Saturday's energy now Saturday we have the ace of water we have number 34 the hummingbird spirit be here now and we have kindred partnership. Ooh, <laughs> it's a bit of a kind of a romantic energy coming in here today. When I was pulling these earlier, I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I'm going to have to get my love oracle out. So here it is, ready to go, because I think there's there's some stuff we need to talk about relationships on Saturday here for sure. 
And it does feel like um, with the Ace of Water, this is the Ace of Cups in the traditional tarot deck, number one, Kindred Partnership, which is very much a, a soulmate card, um, it feels like there could literally be some new, re new relationships starting on Saturday. You may be meeting a new partner, or it could be a, a meaningful beginning of a new relationship. Um, Yes, and there is a reminder from the hummingbird that although your heart might be going 100 miles an hour, um, try and stay in the now, try not to disappear, float off <laughs> into the clouds with it all, which will, which could be very tempting, could be very, very tempting indeed. There's a real beauty in today. Even if it's not a relationship, it could be a new friendship or it could be a new exciting beginning. Um, some new plans coming in, house move very often comes in with the, the Ace of Water, um, or it might be just something completely new working with a new spirit guide coming in perhaps. Um, but whatever it is, it feels very blissful today, it feels very exciting. Um, so do try to stay in the now, try not to float off too much into the future, although we might want to be a little bit idealistic on Saturday, we might get a bit carried away with our emotions, you know, we might get a little bit... Um, ungrounded <laughs> I want to say so let's bring in a few romance cards because I feel like there is something going on here maybe Venus is doing something interesting be interesting to find out there so are you ready oh are you ready for your heart's desire there's that question 6410 one because you can have it if you want to it's like you can make your heart's desire real at 64 but only if you're ready to do it only if you want to do it um, Love Addicts Anonymous, okay, on 33.6. Yeah. Are you ready for this? What is it that you want? Um, are addictions holding you back in some way, shape or form? Are you struggling with codependency, for example? Um, is that keeping you from the relationship that you actually really want, the person you really want to? Um, are you keeping yourself stuck somehow? So there is that question as well. So some very kind of I almost said shrill emotions coming through. It's like very kind of, oh my goodness, I can't speak. There's all this anxiety coming through um, up from the, the solar plexus through the heart chakra and, and up to the throat. And it's almost like we can't breathe. We can't speak on Saturday. There's, um, wow, so much emotion, a lot to deal with, I think, coming up. Some very deep uh, thoughts coming up, some deep emotions coming up. And it could be triggered by meeting somebody new, by by realising there is somebody that we want to be with, you know, or, or who wants to be with us. But it could be a declaration of love from someone that you've kind of been admiring from a while, from a distance, but you didn't realise they felt that way too, or they'd never said anything. So you kind of, you know, you'd never gone anywhere with it. So that's very, very exciting. Very loving energy. Sweets, chocolates and roses on 15. OK, so 15 is devil energy. So there are choices here. You don't have to do everything the old fashioned way. I just want to say it's a very, very sweet energy when this card shows up. It's very well meaning. But I want to say, um, again, with this relationship, if there is a relationship coming in, if that's what it is, or friendship, could be spirit guide, whatever it is in your life that's coming in anew today that's making you feel excited and idealistic, um, you don't have to do it in the old fashioned way, I want to say. You can do some things in a more traditional way which is absolutely fine but it feels like there needs a little bit of an energy of originality here there needs to be some freedom there needs to be um you can't be tethered i get the word you can't be tethered today you can't be tied down that's not a good energy um freedom is necessary which again is very aquarian as themes go it's a very aquarian energy um okay let's pop these ones down and go to the spirit message deck here see what they've got to say because this energy is whew, it's a little bit overwhelming and obviously it's not the beginning of a relationship for everyone because that would be ridiculous can you imagine if that was what happened to the whole world on that <laughs> that'd be bonkers uh, would anyone go to work i don't think so um right i give thanks for my many blessings beautiful yeah abundances for everyone oh we've got two 33s would you look at that 33 6 33 6 um and the numbers flanking them as well, 32 and 34. So that's very interesting. Numerologically speaking, 33 being the Christ consciousness, 33, 6, 6 being the heart, the sacred chalice. So very sacred energy coming in. It could be about literally meeting a sacred soulmate, taking the next step with a sacred soulmate, um, with with a, um, with a friend, with a spirit guide. Um, whatever it is for you, it, it's big. This is big, big soul energy coming in here. This is um, next steps on spiritual path kind of energy. Um, and there is this reminder to give thanks 
um, to show gratitude, even if the things that you want, the people that you want in your life haven't shown up yet, give thanks because they're on their way. If you're waiting for a relationship, oh my goodness, it's on its way. It's coming. Um, the abundance card coming in. Wow. Whew, there is enough for everybody. There really, truly is enough for everybody. You will be taken care of. You will be catered for. Everything will be okay. There's a huge amount of reassurance coming in here. Big, big heart energy big heart energy because this is 33 6 33 6 6 being member of the heart 15 6 as well is a different aspect of the heart energy so it is all about the heart it may literally be about romantic relationships um but certainly about love um however that shows up in your life at the moment so very very interesting day i don't feel the need to pull any money cards for today at all so let's on that bombshell let's move on to sunday <laughs> fascinating energy i'm actually getting a little bit of pain in my heart chakra um having tuned into that because it's big big heart energy coming in for saturday however that appears so moving on to sunday now we have the seven of air we have 29 giraffe spirit see the big picture we also have eight bobcat spirit life as a mystery and we have true love and we have bedford hello bedford are you coming up no good Stay down there. So Bedford has entered the room. Um, he may jump up. I've got to be careful because of my candles. Are you coming up? He's not sure about getting up on my lap right now, but here he is, the little monster himself. Thank you, Bedford. Off you go. So I'll just continue while he's prowling around my feet and try and stop him from eating any cables. Okay, so merry-go-round energy coming in with Sunday. See the big picture? Life is a mystery. Ah, big life lessons coming in on Sunday. This is an interesting one. It is about getting off the merry-go-round. Um, and by that, I do mean stepping out of, maybe literally stepping out of polite society. <laughs> but true love. And at the end of the day, our true love is our reflection. So there could be some twin flame soulmate kind of activity going on today. It could be literally about romance very, very strongly, very deeply deep feelings coming up today but it could also be the self because your 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 first love your first truth is is you at the end of the day you are or you should be your own true love hello bedford all right all right good boy <laughs> yes this is my true love here <laughs> he's just shown himself <laughs> gonna hold on to him so he's going on the windowsill all right very disruptive energy for sunday as bedford is demonstrating to us by being disruptive <laughs> So it's disruptive. It is about love. Whoa. Keep your tail off the candle. Um, it's a little bit reckless, I want to say, because he did just swipe the candle with his tail. I'm holding his tail now. I'm actually just holding it in my hand so he doesn't hurt himself. I'm just going to get him out of the room. So thank you, Bedford, for the extra messages there about restraining ourselves, not putting ourselves in danger um, and not being too reckless, I think, on Sunday as well. But it is about love. It, it, it does come down to love at the end of the day. Um, like I was saying, it could be to do with soulmates and twin flames today. Very interesting energy. And with twin flames, I, I do always say we don't fully understand what that means. As human beings, we don't fully understand what twin flames are, what the implications are there. So don't get too hung up on the whole twin flame theme. All right, don't worry too much about that um it's it's kind of beyond our comprehension at, at this point um at this level of existence but i do feel like the universe is really going to show us some universal truths today with the bobcat spirit life is a mystery on eight um the eternal eight and on 29 11 2 which brings in a huge amount of wisdom with the giraffe spirit about seeing the bigger picture it feels like the universe is showing us something very big very important on sunday that we need to know that we need to bear in mind um and it is about love but i want to talk about universal love you know that the true energy of love which is the only thing that actually exists in the universe and as i said that i looked at the time on my video and it said 4333 so we had a 333 energy coming through there there's lots of three energy this week there's the the 33s that we've had the 333 energy as well so you may see those repeating numbers showing up on your path particularly on sunday i think could be very very interesting and i think because of that it um there may be some spiritual experiences or some realizations going on that make us realize that we just have to kind of throw the old plan out the window and it may be literally throwing the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> 
it may feel like that, um, but it's not. There, there is a good reason for, for needing to look at things differently, to see things differently and to actually act differently in our lives. I, I feel even if it feels like we, we want to make rash decisions today, there's a reason for that. And so we need to question why those are coming up and see whether that's something we do actually need to do, because sometimes you do need to do that. You do need to make the big change. Memories. 40 change the record 36 yeah it's time for humanity to change the record absolutely um playtime is over getting quite serious now and it is important this is very much about finding balance in our lives finding i want to say judgment or judgment something to do with judgment um huh what is that it's a very interesting energy 36 9 wow yes i think if we change our outlook on life this sunday we can really change our whole life um 36 9 uh, incredible powerful numbers um for manifesting and, and creation but the i mean far more to them than that of course that's just the tip of the iceberg um but we're ready for this now everything that we've learned so far in this lifetime we're ready for this 40 the number of viability um we can bring stuff into matter we can bring the change into matter into life right now this is this is big some very very big important themes right now coming in for Sunday so playtime is over and what I mean by that is we're not mucking around anymore okay we are serious about what we're doing even if it seems a little bit crazy sometimes <laughs> I think some of us are just going to feel like we're losing our mind on Sunday we're coming up with crazy new plans but that's okay go with it go with it and see where it takes you come from your higher wisdom with it and know that any changes any unexpected news is coming in very much for a reason today it's coming in to help you not to hinder so let's move on to our spiritual message for the week which i realize i haven't pulled the cards for yet because this week's energy is so topsy-turvy i'm all over the place let's get a pack of cards or even better let's get two packs of cards okay so we've got the nature speak oracle as well as the language of light okay let's see because we've got quite a spiritual energy coming through so i want to stay kind of high level with these oh that one wants to come out okay of course it does focus 37 10 1 focus on the change that you want and make it happen focus on what is your true reality what is you coming from the heart you coming from your genuine self what does that look like what does it mean what changes do you need to make how do you need to live who do you need to be how do you need to speak how do you need to show up how are you showing up right now? Are you paying attention? That was a lot. Okay, right. 20, soul writing. 22, divine animals. Loving that numerology. You want one more. Ask your soul. Ah, okay. Asking the soul. Look at these beautiful magenta, sort of orange, yellow, magenta. Very enlightened colours coming through here. This is all about enlightenment. It is about... I think messages coming through from the higher self, understanding higher truths about life coming through this week. Um, good week for meditation, <laughs> spiritual practice. Spend as long as you can in meditation um, or as long as you're drawn to. I think there'll be a lot of information coming through dreams as well. Really the higher self wanting to communicate. Wanting to. <laughs> I think Bedford just knocked something over in the other room. <laughs> so literally... <laughs> Maybe this, I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing now. Bedford's such a little bastard. Um, but he always does things at exactly right the right moment in my readings. And it's like, yes, it will be a turbulent energy. And on that 16, which is tower energy, we won't be completely in control of it. And the divine animal may actually come in to make a big mess. <laughs> Bedford. <sighs> right. Let me just check. Nothing's broken in the next room. So Bedford got in my cupboard and knocked everything down. So literally, that's exactly the tower energy, knocking things down when you weren't expecting it. And I notice we're at minute 48, which is completion of karmic contract, and we were at second 11. Um, so some great wisdom coming through on 11.2, even if it doesn't feel like it. Sometimes the universe will literally step in and clear the board because it's time for you to move on to something else and maybe it needs to happen quickly. So very interesting there with the divine animals card here as well. Um, and if you haven't already watched my uh, spirit animal message um, over on the our sister channel, Cosmic Dragon Tarot, I will link above to that. Cosmic Dragon is my second channel, so it will be 
me over there. Lots of hearts here as well. Heart, heart, heart. And again, that's the 33 energy, the 33, 6 energy coming through very beautifully at the moment. And lastly, soul writing. So it does feel very much like your soul wants to communicate. You may be drawn to automatic writing this week. That's a theme that's already come up um, with my private client readings at the moment. Um, automatic writing where we are, are kind of guided to, to write things and we don't know exactly why and then we can look at it afterwards. Um, I also want to bring in beach, power of prayer, power in prayer. Wow. And meadow, growth and abundance. Yes. Beautiful. So huge spiritual growth happening for this week. Apple, believe in your dreams. You can't see that one. Let's bring it over here. Very juicy energy, very abundant energy coming in with the apple. Very sacred and magical as well, because when you cut an apple in half, you get a beautiful star shape. Um, so I think your dreams may be hidden at the moment, but they're kind of already here. They are already here. And it could be that something needs to go. So there is this potential for a, a bit of turbulence, for some upheaval, for something to happen quite fast, something to leave quite fast, something else to come in. This could be a relationship. You might just suddenly end with someone and start with somebody else quite quickly or that, you know, um, whatever it is, I, I think there is great divine wisdom in whatever's going to be happening this week. Very, very great divine wisdom is a great deal of sacredness. Prayer is very much highlighted. Um, Yes, and it is all about growth and abundance. Yes, we can have what we want with the meadow card here. Yes, we absolutely can have what we want. We can have what we need. It is coming in now. It is divinely guided. Beautiful 22-4, the feet of the goddess on divine animals there. Um, so there is a beautiful divine feminine energy working through us as well. So lots to look forward to, lots to do this week. Um, I don't think we can rest on our laurels particularly this week. Um, and it might be a case of the universe just comes in and brings the change. We, you know, we might not know what it is that we need to do, or we might kind of know, might kind of feel it, um, but we're not sure. You know, we're feeling, oh, I'm not sure if I want to do that. And the universe goes, yeah, you do. And it comes it's like Bedford in my wardrobe. <laughs> um, I just want to bring in the card that was on the bottom of the deck because I just realised I put it the other way up and we have Sage, Spirit Contact. So literally I'm very drawn to Sage, the, um, the Herb Sage, which could be for smudging, White Sage. There are different kinds of Sage as well. You know, we have some in this country which are, are very easy to grow. I grow Purple Sage in my garden and Giant Sage and they are very, um, very helpful for the throat as well, Sage Tea can be very helpful if you have a sore throat that's something to look into not medical advice um so the sage the herb i'm drawn to it might be sage and onion stuffing if you're british <laughs> but also spirit contact here so it does feel like spirit contact is going to be heightened so contact from soul really wanting to communicate wanting to communicate with the higher aspects of self and also with the spirit world as well that could be very much highlighted and heightened this week so the veil could be very very thin okay so that's it for this week I think we're going to stop there <laughs> now that Bedford's finished trashing my house I had to literally go lie down with him in the other room to, to sort of con him into taking a nap if I lie on the bed he'll lie on the bed too it's quite funny and then I have to leave him with like a, a sweater or something so he, he thinks I'm still there it's quite funny Anyway, um, enough about Bedford. If you made it to the end of the video, please put Bedford in the comments and we'll all know what you mean. Maybe put a picture of the leopard emoji if you can find that one. That's the one I normally use to, to describe him. Or a cat emoji, that's good too. Uh, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please also subscribe to my second channel, Cosmic Dragon Tarot. There's lots of good stuff over there. Lots of timeless readings for you that you can dip into anytime you need a message. Remember, if you need a message, you can also go to my website, enjoyingsolistics.com and find the Angel Wings Oracle, which is always there for you to use 24-7 if you need to pull a card for yourself. Okay, please remember to like the video, leave me a comment, uh, remember to comment Bedford or one of those cat emojis for me, and I will see you very, very soon. Take very, very good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.